um, we have arrived in Christchurch. Let's see what the city has to offer. Oh, that's the entrance of the Botanical Garden. Hello! Practice Garden. Let Rose. Hello, Rose. It's going on the city tour. It's a beautiful old building. Anywhere. Trucks here. Here we are in New Brighton Pier. Yeah, what is it? Yes. There's a lot to see in and around Christchurch. The city is a perfect start point for day trips to the Arthur's Pass National Park, to Kaikoura, to Ekorora, to Mount Cook, or some beautiful vineyards around the city. We are in Akaroa. We are in Akaroa, yeah. We are free camping today on the wharf here in Akaroa. It's 1.20 and we have got basically one of the last spots. It's meaning we have to be early on destinations like that. Our plan was actually to go directly to Christchurch. However, some of the spare parts for our caravan are not in time delivered and we have decided to spend some time in Ekoroa to bridge the time till our spare parts are arriving. Ekoroa is a small town 85 kilometers out of Christchurch. They are living, living only 700 people and the town is nestled into a bay. It's a beautiful city. It's founded by French people in the 1840s. It's a little bit tricky there with campsites there is one campsite close to the city, it's quite expensive. There is a freedom camp at the wharf and there is another campsite on the other side of the bay in Vanui. We had no luck with the freedom camping for the first night and we had to go to the campsite in Vanui. It's in the bush, it's a very small camp area. We had some problems to bring our caravan in, however we have managed. On the next morning we was going early to Ekaroa to get one place at the Freedom Camp sites and we have been lucky enough to get a nice space there. From there we was heading out to the Ekaroa Heads and we found that a beautiful coastline with a huge rock formation and a big hole in the rock formation in this arch. The small lighthouse which you can see is a replacement for a nice big old lighthouse which is now relocated to the city. We really have enjoyed our time there and we are wondering if we are making a whole video about this place. Let us know if you are interested in that. After returning from our 4x4 adventure, we went to a small walk into the town. So that's the main street here in Akarora with a couple of shops, coffee, bars, the usual stuff here from New Zealand. Hi. It's my second one in almost a month. Uh, Rosie and her pies. Number two in one month. I do not think so. It's quite historical here in Akaroa. It's one of the oldest buildings. The city as well was settled from French people in the 1840s. And there are still some old buildings left here. Turn left onto Hereford Street, then your destination will be on the left. We are back in Christchurch today. Yes. And uh, it was last time very beautiful and let us see. So that's uh, Christchurch University. It's a beautiful old building. And that's the uh, inner part of it. And in this area, they have made a nice hotel, it's called the Observatory. 
and it was really cool to stay there. We did it by a goal, that was nice. at this beautiful hotel the last time we visited. It's just lovely. So on the other side of the university there is the old Trump. Beautiful here. Hello Rose. Everything was badly damaged during the earthquake 2011 and they are still reconstructing a lot. It takes a lot of time, a lot of effort and a lot of money. On Sundays, they are having a lot of food trucks here. A lot of food. It's worth having. Let us see. I mean, it smells amazing. And Rose is having an ice cream. Hey. This is the university. It's Christchurch Botanical Garden. We will have now a look. There's our beast park. It's a little bit dirty in the moment. Actually, we was planning to wash the car a couple of days ago, but we had an incident. Yeah, we had an incident with our car and car around. We was running into a power light pool or power pool and it was so embarrassing that we was not filming the situation thanks god we got out of that modern day pest so that's the entrance of the botanical garden how's your ice cream darling mm, so good so good so good okay good doesn't, doesn't be juicy but good. It's a beautiful sound in this university in the background. And beautiful rose. You can even create your own fountain here at the Botanic Garden. Okay, let's push it. That's cool. Push it harder. Even the bird is starting with moving his wings. Huh? Huh? Funny doggies? Hi, baby. The pest. A bit more naughty. This looks me after one hour with Rose on a farmer's market. Here we have the Riverside Market area. Lots of restaurants. Mmm, dessert bar. Sounds good. This is a damaged cathedral, right? It's Cathedral Square, yeah. Is it here? It's straight so ahead. There, yeah, yeah, straight ahead. Yeah, I can see it straight ahead. And there, on the corner, was the K-pop place. Are you hungry? I'm always hungry. I was looking forward to having K-pop here, but it's closed. I'm hungry. Oh no. Oh, yeah, that's the Christchurch Cathedral, full under reconstruction after the earthquake. And not much to see, it is completely covered up with cladding, weatherproofing. Sorry for that. It's supposed to be a beautiful building and one of the main attractions here in Christchurch city center. So we are now on the way to New Regent Street. That's basically the entrance area. New Regent Street in Christchurch. A lot of shops, restaurants. The tram is going directly through the street. Also checking out the next ice cream station. Can you find something? 
are really busy here this week. Um, the next one is coming. Look at these beautiful kayaks here. I think they're original. They're really nice. There as well. Beautiful old tiles. Also checking out the next ice cream shop. Woo! Next time, the one is anywhere. Hello, Christchurch Garden City. They call Christchurch the Garden City, and I think I can see why. The cicadas are very loud. This is a pretty garden. Okay. Okay. So now the two. Yeah. Mmm, I could eat that one. Let us see. That's a Kayapoi food forest. It's a community garden and you can just go in and pick fruits or veggies or whatever you like and take it home. The peaches are not ripe yet but there's a lot of peaches. How good is that? Apples. Plums. So, we arrived in one of the beach areas of Christchurch. Let's just check it out. Okay, we are in New Brighton Beach, part of the Christchurch area. In New Brighton, it's part of the Greater Christchurch area. And it looks like it's a nice beach. Here we are in New Brighton Pier. You can see the waves rolling in. People fishing. Lovely cormorant. He's still there. Just there, baby. Ah, 
Any fish today? Lots of cowboy caught there. Oh, that's good. I just, I just lost one. Oh. The hook, the hook is rusted, so it just snapped. So that's the it was, worst. Yeah, it was a good size one. Was that? Oh no. Yeah. So do you want to see the cow? Yeah. Can I? Oh yeah. These types of fish that was in the yeah. yeah, yeah. They're, they're all about that same size. That was that's good. that's good. That's a good meal. Yeah, now the size I lost, which is kind of disappointing. We would like to give you some more information about other activities which you can do in Christchurch. There is a gondola. There is an international Antarctic center. Of course, you can visit vineyards and doing tours there. And there is a Orana Wildlife Park, which you can visit and see some kiwis.